Sexual Reproduction Organisms reproduce to pass on their genetic information and increase the population. Some reproduce through asexual reproduction, which requires only one parent. Others reproduce through sexual reproduction, requiring two parents. In this video, we will focus on sexual reproduction, how it works, and its advantages and disadvantages. In sexual reproduction, a new offspring is produced by combining the genetic information of two parents. Because the offspring has genetic information from both parents, it will look similar but different from its parents. This type of reproduction increases the genetic variation in the population. So how does sexual reproduction work? In order for a parent to pass on only half of its genetic information, its sex cells must go through a process of meiosis. Meiosis is a form of cell division that results in four cells having half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. The egg from the female combines with the sperm from the male. When this happens, the chromosomes from each parent combine to create a new offspring with a full set of chromosomes. With sexual reproduction, the offspring looks similar but different from each other and their parents. This is because there are thousands of genes that code for different traits on an organism's chromosomes. Each time meiosis occurs, the alleles of the genes are randomly split. This is why you look similar to your brothers or sisters, and yet you are different. Let's look at some advantages and disadvantages. Due to more genetic variation, if the environment changes, some organisms in the population will be better adapted to it than others, and they will be able to survive and reproduce keeping the population going. The genetic variation of the population will also help it fight against a new predator or disease, since once again, some individuals would be better suited to resist the disease or escape the new predator, allowing them to reproduce and keep that population going. However, because it does require two parents, it takes a lot longer to increase the population than with asexual reproduction. Recovering from a major environmental change could take a long time. So in summary, sexual reproduction requires two parents. The offspring are genetically similar but different. There is genetic variation. They are better able to adapt to a change in environment. It is more difficult for a new predator or disease to destroy the entire population, but it is slower to increase the population.